Hi guys, how you doing? Are you ready to get moving today? Um, this is going to be a quick like pick me up energy workout hopefully and when we don't have a ton of time and we are going to stay standing this whole workout. So um, sometimes we're exhausted and that doesn't actually sound very good, but sometimes it actually helps us pick our energy back up. So that's kind of my focus today. We are going to use um, little weights as props, um, hand weights. So I actually have balls. They are three pounds each. I suggest either two or three pounds um, somewhere in that vicinity to be using so we'll be working out our arms that way and you want to have your foot bar down and one red spring set up on your reformer and let's hop right up into it okay so what you want to do is come to facing your reformer on the side let's bring the right foot up onto your wood platform you're going to stand up onto that and then bring your left foot onto the carriage right on the inside of that lip and same for the right foot you want to have kind of the big toe right on the inside of the wood frame that gives you a little bit of um, press okay and from here we're going to start with our arms at the elbows the same level as your shoulders palms facing forward looks like a goal for soccer legs are going to stay straight we're just going to open the carriage up nice and slow as we lift the arms up draw your abs in and then pull the elbows down as you close your carriage and out and in growing taller as you close pressing out from the outside of your hips and I forgot to lift my headrest up so that might clunk so if you have a um, reformer like mine you want might want to pop that headrest up so that you can get a little farther out there and pulling in and out and in good pressing out with the outside of your hips and then pulling in through the adductors lifting up through the spine we go for four and three and two and one and pull all the way in good job all right from here bring your arms down we're going to bring the arms out to a T with your palms facing down. You're going to open your carriage and then hold it open. So whatever place you choose, you've got to keep it there now. You're going to hinge the body forward, send your tail back, chest open and square to the floor. Arms go down towards the floor. Now you can round the spine, scoop the belly and start to slowly restack one vertebra at a time, hips back over your ankles, low ribs back over the hips, arms come up overhead, back into a T and then close your carriage. It's called pick a flower. So <laughs> open your carriage, hold it still, send your hips back, chest out and forward, down and round it up this is where it gets a little tricky to keep that carriage open arms come back up overhead open to a t close the carriage and grow taller and open hinge and arms down scoop the belly keep pressing that carriage open as you round that spine back up so make sure that as you come back up you don't come back up with a flat back you really you're gonna hinge forward with a flat back arms go down and now rounding the spine slowly restacking relax the shoulders arms come up last open to a T and close your carriage one more time open hold it out there hinge forward arms go down scoop that belly round restack don't skip any vertebra arms up and out you've got it from here you're going to bend your knees sit your hips back like you're going to sit into a chair elbows are in at your sides and we're going to skate out as we open the arms up and back and in up and back and in sorry about that clunk i'll try and make that not happen so what i want you to do is i want you to try and stay deep into that squat so even as the legs straighten out you're not lifting up right you're not standing up 
in your position. You're just straightening the legs out to the sides, sending the carriage out. Make sure you're straightening and bending simultaneously with each leg. That's it. Working the backs of the shoulders here. And this is called speed skater. So if you can imagine what they look like, they stay real low when they're skating. Working those glutes around the hips here. Good. One more. Pull it all the way into the stopper. Stand it all the way up. Good job. You're gonna step back with that left foot onto the floor, right foot down. Walk around. I don't really want you changing up on your carriage because that's dangerous with only one red spring. So we're gonna bring the left foot up onto your platform, right foot onto your carriage. Make sure that your toes are in line with each other. So one foot is not forward of the other here. All right, so we started with our elbows in a goalie type position. We're gonna open wide, lift the arms up. Close the carriage, grow taller, pull the elbows down. Open, close and pull. Open, close and pull. Now, we don't necessarily feel our core here, but we always want to engage it with our diaphragm, so with our breathing. So as you close your carriage, and draw your adductors together. You wanna to think of drawing the abdominal wall in and up. Yeah, so like you would be closing or zipping closed a pair of jeans, just gently drawing in and up. Make sure that as you come together, your hips are even, so you don't have one hip higher than the other. That might depend on your pelvis and what is going on there. One more time. Good. Drop your arms down for a second just to give them a shake out, yeah? And then they go right into the T. So you're going to open it up, hold your carriage still. You're going to hinge forward. Sit bones go back, chest goes forward. Square to the floor. You're going to go hands down. Round your spine, scoop your belly. Restack the hips over the knees, over the ankles. Then the low ribs, then the shoulders. Head comes up, arms come up. And into a T. And out. And hinge. And hands go down. Scoop and round. Soften the shoulders. Keep that carriage where it's at. Arms go up. T and close and open, hinge, hold that carriage still, get those hips back in line, that's it, lift and close, two more, open and hinge, and you get a little stretch there when you hinge, that's nice, and round, restocking, and close. Last one here. Hinge. Arms down. Restack. That's it. And close. Keep it closed. Bend and sit all the way back. Elbows in at your waist here. And we're going to skate it out. And bend in. And out and in. So the arms open up and back. Try not to stand up. Just think straighten out and bend in. So the hips stay at the same place in space. And open. And open. Resist the return. So don't just let the, the spring bring you back in. And four, and three, and two, last one. Bring it in and stand it up. Good job, you guys. Step back onto the floor with the right foot 
and down with the left. Okay, so from here, you can go ahead and put your weights aside. So you're gonna pop up the foot bar to the middle position. Good, go ahead and secure it. And we're gonna stay on that red spring, okay? So come around to the left side of your former facing your foot bar. We're gonna go into some flying lunges here. These are really fun. Bring, your, bring both hands onto your foot bar here. You wanna bring your left foot forward right next to the wood of the frame. And then we're gonna bring the right foot against the shoulder block here with the heel lifted, okay? So to find this position, you're gonna lunge back, send the right leg straight back, the front leg is bent. You're gonna expand that chest in front of you, right? Big inhale here. From here, it's sort of a shifting of position. We're going to lift up, sending the shoulders over the wrist and sending the left leg straight back behind us and then bringing it forward, stepping it down and pushing back into that lunge. Ready, inhale, lift and step it down, stretch and lift, down and stretch. As you lift, you want your shoulders and hips to be at the same level in space, yeah? So make sure the hips aren't sagging down and they aren't piked up either, okay, not yet. We're just lifting up into a plank, flying that left leg back behind us, about the level of the chest. That's it. And lift. Let's go two more. Lift. One more. Lift. Lunge it back. Hold your lunge. Next thing here is gonna be your pike. So now you will lift those hips. As we pike, the left leg will just stay straight and sort of drag up with us in space. From here, we lift, send the hips back, and then lunge it forward. Hips back, scoop the belly, lunge. Good, keep that back leg straight. Draw up through the abdominals. This is where your core is. It's all about your core here, not just the arms and the legs. Three and two and one. Whoop. And don't cling your reformer like I just did. And stretch it back into that lunge. From here, I want you to walk your fingers up Stand into your left leg, hands on your hips. You're gonna bend the right knee in, press it back. Bend and press, bend, press. That's it, four and three and two. So that thigh's getting work and one. Bend it all the way and bring it to the stopper and walk around to the other side, all right? So these are fun, this is really more cardio, which we don't get a ton of in Pilates. Bring those hands onto your foot bar, your right foot steps right in front next to the wood. Left leg goes back against that shoulder block. Lunge it back, guys. Expand your chest here, big inhale, and here we go. Fly that leg back as you bring the shoulders forward. Lunge and fly back fly back. Good. Make sure you're always lifting the abdominals up and in. Let's go for three before we come into those pikes. Last one. All right. Pikes and the hips back. Drag that right leg up and in. So you're gonna try and close the carriage. Step it out and lunge. I like an exhale here when I'm coming up. Play with it. See if you like maybe the seam or different. Three more. Scoop that belly. 
one more. Lunge it back. Walk up to your fingertips, hands onto your hips. Lift the torso up. Bend the left knee in, stretch it back. Bend, press, bend, press. Go for three and two, abs in, one. Bring it all the way in. Good job, you guys. We're gonna keep it on the red and you're gonna stand up onto your carriage. But in order to do that safely, you wanna bring your hands onto your foot bar and then step into the center of your carriage, one foot and then the other foot. So from here, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna step the left foot back against the shoulder rest. Your heel is halfway up the shoulder rest. You're gonna bring the right foot forward onto your foot bar here. Keep your hands on your foot bar for right now. Bring your hips down. This knee is right over the ankle. And for right now, we're just gonna press back with the right leg and bend to pull forward. So just going back and forward. This is relatively light of a spring, which means less assistance and less security. If you need more, throw a blue spring on there. Throw a half spring on there. Okay, it'll feel stronger, but you'll also be more supported when we take our hands off. <laughs> so try and get into a flat back here. I just realized I was rounding my shoulders. No good. So don't round your shoulders. <laughs> come all the way back in. Now you are on your the ball of your foot here. You're going to come up onto your fingertips. Only do this if you feel like you're ready for it. And you can, you've already done this with a trainer. Um, and... You're, you, you, you know this one, okay? So lift the torso up, and from here, hands on hips. You're gonna stretch it back, bend, pull forward, and stretch, and bend. You wanna spot something on the floor or the wall in front of you that doesn't move. That's gonna help you keep your focus and your balance. Out, and pull it in. Good, really maintain an even press throughout the whole ball of that foot. Okay, so as you go out, make sure the inside nor the outside of the foot does not want to pull off of that bar. Three and two, last one. Good, now keep the legs straight. Lift the hips up, legs stay straight. Send the hips down, back leg goes back. Lift up and down and out. Up, down and out. Up, down and out. We only have one more of these. Up, down and out. To come in, bend the front leg to pull through. Torso down, hands on the bar. Step the right foot back against the shoulder rest, heel halfway up. Left foot comes through onto the bar. Make sure that your legs are um, in line with your sit bones. Start to stretch that leg back and bend. And back and bend. That's it, stretch it back and bend. Flat back, which means broaden the chest underneath you here. Pull the heart through, glide your shoulder blades down towards your waistband. Just warming it up. Keep those hips low for this one. All right, one more. We're gonna close, come up to fingertips and lift that torso up, hands on your hips. Press back, bend to come in. Back, bend and pull. Really focus here. Do not rush this. Good, broaden the chest. Lift through the back line of the spine up towards the ceiling. I just felt myself rounding forward a little bit, wanting to lean forward a little bit. That's just when you've got the shakes and you're not sure, right? So find that alignment, shoulders back and down. Good, belly pulling in. That is a big part of our stability. Down and pull through. For three and two, 
One more, you're gonna hold it out there with a straight leg. Lift the hips up, send them out and down. And up, send out and down. So we always have one side that maybe takes more focus than the other. Um, that's this side for me. My foot keeps wanting to roll to the outside and lift off the inside. That's no bueno. So gotta work on that one, yeah. One more, you guys. Out and down, bend the knee in to come in. Hands down onto your bar. Step the left foot to the middle of the carriage. Right foot to the middle, close your carriage. You guys go ahead and sit down. I said we'd be standing. You can sit down because you're done. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That was super quick. I hope you enjoyed it. And it was a little bit of cardio. And so if you did it in the middle of the day, maybe it was like a picker upper or even at the end of the day or beginning, whenever. Thank you for joining. I had fun moving with you and have a great day. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.